Welcome everyone to another edition of Meet the Instructor, a presentation of OLLI at Eckerd College. I'm Eugene Lasansky, and with me today is longtime OLLI instructor, Joy Katzen Guthrie. Welcome, Joy. Thank you very much. Tell me a little bit about your, your background, where you're from, and uh, you know what, where you went to school, that kind of thing. A little, little bit about you. Well, I grew up in Memphis, Tennessee, and uh, I went to college at Stevens College in Columbia, Missouri. I majored in both music and broadcasting. I had decided that I would probably make a living in radio, but I'd been playing piano since I was about four. And I, I loved playing piano and just didn't conceive of a way you could make a living in that unless you were some kind of classical pianist. When I was a really young kid, I dreamed of being Van Cliburn. And by my teenage years, I was very clear that I wasn't going to be as disciplined as any kind of life like that. That is a very focused, disciplined life. And I have a great many interests in many things. So at Stevens, I was able to really follow that double major, double degree, uh, with degrees in music and broadcast journalism. How did you? How did you come to Ollie? <laughs> Came in doing concerts, mm -hmm. uh, and then one day, one of the instructors was not able to teach, and she said, "Do you think you could teach a class for us today and cover what she's covering?" And I said, well, I can do it at the piano. And I did a piano lecture from the grand piano in, in the Pelican Room. And uh, they loved it. What's the most fun course you've ever taught? Well, uh, wow, that's a, that's a great question. See, I love teaching music courses because that's really my background. And I've really expanded my own music interests through teaching these courses. But the most fun courses, I think, are uh, the subject of comedy and entertainment. I began expanding out into comedians and into satire. And I love, love, love teaching satire and caricature and caricature in the way of cartoonery in the way of literature and, uh, and of course, in the way of impressionism and stand-up comedy and comedy commentary that we see so often you into know. that. But I love teaching music courses because that's my background and I am a pianist and longtime composer and pianist and vocalist. And I also love but teaching the Jew Jews of China. Ah, yes. That turned I... out to be, be a subject I never expected uh, because I was asked to create, I was recommended to a tour agency in, in China and asked to create Jewish heritage tours to China in 2000. And when I began to research it, I was knocked off my seat. And so speaking on that subject is of great interest to me, and it always fascinates everyone. Just a few seconds left. Uh, I have to ask you about your hats. You have some <laughs> remarkable hats. How did that How did that get started? Just, just very briefly. The hats started in the late 1980s, and I was playing piano bars every night, but I had a dream of signing to a major record label who didn't. And so I was off every year to Nashville and L.A. and uh, New York to promote my music and take my original music and recordings with me. And, uh, and it, it, it never led anywhere, but in one of the meetings in L.A., one of the uh, attorneys I met with said, you know, there's your look. You don't have a look. She, she said, you, you just, you know, look like a nice person. But you, you, if you're going to be a musician and someone in the recording business, you've got to have a look. I think you would look really good in hats and longer earrings. But I experimented with the hats and I really fell in love with them and particularly with the two together. So, so now I have a whole wardrobe of hats. It is a joy to, to have you on the faculty and I look forward to seeing you both in the classroom and on screen as well. I love that. Thank you, Eugene, for having me and giving me a chance to make a short story long again. <laughs> You're welcome, Joy.